Services, Mr. Abner Francis. To his wife, we have the AGM for our branch operations. Please welcome Attorney Lani Pacquiao. And to his right as well, we have our AGM for the chair instructor, Mom Juliet Asay. Okay, next to Mom Juliet is our AGM for gaming sector, Larry uh, Center. Okay, right, sir. And then uh, to his right, we have the manager of the charity assistance department. Please welcome Atoni Marisa Medran. And finally, but certainly not the least, we have the manager of our treasury, DM Belen Bolvasan. Okay, at this point, uh, let me remind everyone that we still have to observe the IAPF protocols. So please maintain your social distances from our friends in this room. Thank you very much. Okay, please welcome the Vice Chairperson of the Board and Hello mga Guardians! Magandang araw sa iyong buhay. Welcome back sa F Channel. Today, nandito po tayo sa PCSO main office para dun sa turnover ng checks para sa mandatory contribution at sa STL shares. Tara na! Okay, so maganda maganda ng mga po sa ating lahat. It's another historic Tuesday morning, July 6, 2021. And to open the program, we shall now have the invocation to be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. May we request everyone to please do it.
now take your seats and at this point let me call on the assistant general manager for the charity sector please welcome agm julian Asenio for the opening remarks Good morning everyone, especially to our distinguished guests from the uh, Commission on Higher Education, Girl Scouts of the Philippines, the Philippine Sports Commission, uh, the National Bureau of Investigation, Philippine National Police, and the Philippine Red Cross. Good morning also to our General Manager, Rene and Varma and to, to fellow officials and employees. It is a great privilege indeed and a real blessing for PCSO to be able to sustain its financial provision to all government and non-government agencies and organizations. It is mandated to support under several laws and issuances, notwithstanding the, the dramatic decline in revenues of PCSO due to the, the on and off operations because of varying degrees of quarantine classifications recently. We've been going through a lot of challenges, but uh, we remain resilient and steadfast in fulfilling our commitment to the public. So please uh, continue to support and patronize our games and products and join us in our prayer in raising more revenue so that we can give more to the public. Thank you and may God bless us all. Okay, thank you very much, AGM uh, Aseo. At this point, we shall now acknowledge and present the recipients of the support coming from the PCSO, our partners in nation building. First. We have from the Girl Scouts of the Philippines, please welcome Ms. Pichi Rama, Technical Assistant, Fund Development. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Next, uh, representing the Commission on Higher Education, this morning we have Mr. Patrick James Arrow, Project Support Staff 5. From the Philippine Sports Commission, we have Ms. Maybell Panis, cashier one. Thank you, ma'am. Representing the Philippine National Red Cross, we have Ms. Andrea Bulao, the administrative support head. Thank you, ma'am. And from the National Bureau of Investigation, please give her a round of applause, Ms. Lilibeth P. Barreto, Supervising Administrative Officer. And finally, again, certainly not the least, representing the Philippine National Police, we have Police Colonel Alejandrea G. Silvio. Okay, so thank you very much again, our partners to Nation Building. At this point, we shall now go to the turnover ceremony. And before we start with our first recipient, AGMSA will be explaining how the various amounts uh, were computed. Thank you, Doc. Uh, the share of the Girl Scouts of the Philippines is derived from the proceeds of deducting the pay from the proceeds of special sweepstakes horse race, the whole proceeds of which shall after deducting the payment of the prices and expenses as provided in public up number 430. While the share of the Commission on Higher Education is equivalent to 1% of the gross sales of the Lotto sales operations of PCSO. The share of the Philippine Sports Commission is based on the 30% of the charity fund proceeds of six sweepstakes and lottery draws per annum. 
and the Philippine Red Cross share is offer, is based on the annual lottery or sweepstakes draw held annually. So for as for the NBI, the the share of the NBI is based on the 0.2 percent of the charity fund raised from STL operations, while the PNP share is based on 0.5 percent of the charity fund share from STL revenues. Okay, thank you very much, AGM Juliet. So after that very brief uh, explanation, so now the computations were done. We shall now award the uh, first mandatory contribution. And of course, we would like to uh, ask uh, the Honorable GM Rowena Marzan Garma to turn over the check. Our first uh, partner uh, will be receiving 278,000 420 pesos and 80 centavos. Again, representing the Girl Scouts of the Philippines, we have Miss Pichi Rama. Uh, 278,420 pesos and 80 centavos.
hindi na MGAR ma. So the other uh, officers or representative of other agencies present here. To our friends and media and other guests, uh, magandang umaga po sa aming lahat. Uh, And the more than 220 strong police officers in the charge of this CTS coordination are there. Our different to for continuously supporting the people who serve and protect. Indeed, this dimension will go a long way to sustain the various morale and welfare improvement program of our agency. In this time of pandemic, frontliners such as the Indian National Police require much needed assistance to augment meager funds for cover medical and hospitalization expenses of the personnel and their dependents. We recognize the distinct and significant role of the PPSO during this challenging period in helping not only the communities throughout the country but also partner government institutions like us. Our gratitude also goes to the head of the for information of everyone, my classmate is very supportive to the uh, Our organization is neatly established our station health unit. Lahat po ng station namin, kailangan may station health unit para mag-monitor po yung mga personal namin. Lalo na lalo na yung dito sa pandemi. Ano, lihit sa kalaman ng iba na hindi po namin alam kung sino ang may mga sakit or may COVID sa mga hinuputin ng ating mga kapulisan. Kaya po kailangan po may nag-monitor sa mga health ng ating mga uh, personnel. Kaya po nagpapasalamat ng Philippine National Police sa tulong ng PCS po. Uh, marami pong binibigay ang assistant ng ating general manager ng mga medical treatment and supplies. And these donations will go a long way to the Philippine National Police. Muli ko na papasalamat ko kami sa Philippine Charity Station. Ah, sa Philippine Charity Station. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Police Colonel Alandria Silvia for the kind words and PCSO expects a long and fruitful partnership with you. Okay, to close our program today, let's hear the remarks coming from our very own GM, Rowena Marzan Garma. So there are uh, rows allotted, no? may mga larong uh, naka-assign po uh, para po yung pondong malikot namin doon o yung mga tickets na naibenta namin sa mga larong yun ay magpupunta po sa Indonesia DC. Um, ako po ay uh, hindi kaya ko lang po sana lahat ng ahensya na nandito ngayon na nabigyan namin ng pondo ay sana uh, maparating po natin ang tulong na ito sa higit na nangangailangan, especially mga indictment ng mga uh, pinagsisilbihan po ng inyong mga ahensya. At um, sana rin po ma'am, uh, I really wanted to introduce something new. And uh, I was hoping na next time or next year na mag-aalat kami ng mga draws for you, we will be inviting you to help us sell the tickets, to help us uh, uh, i-promote or i-advertise sa mga kapwa natin empleyado, perhaps amnesia, o yung mga beneficiaries po ng pondo niyan, na sana makilikin nila yung aming tickets, especially doon sa draw na nakaalat sa inyo. So tulad po ng Boy Scout of the Philippines, may no specific draw po. So, sana po yung specific draw na yun ay bumili po tayo ng ticket para mas makalaki pa 
ang sales namin during the po, mas lalaki din po yung ibibigay namin sa inyo. Ganon din po sa NBI and PNP. Uh, I am uh, asking your support to eradicate ng mga non illegal number games sa ground para po sa ganon ay tumaas din po ang sales ng STL at pag tumataas din po ang sales, tumataas din po ang share ng inyong ahensya. So, um, yun po sana ang maging ma-establish natin partnership so that we will be able to sustain lahat po na maibigilin namin sa inyo. At pangalawa po, habang kayo po tumutulong din sa aming fundraising, aside from tumataas din po yung pwede namin maipapot sa inyo, tumataas din po ang magiging share ng universal, uh, uh, share po ng field health in support po sa universal health care natin. So, 50% of the total charity fund na nara-raise po ng PCSO ay pupunta na po sa universal health care. So, the more we, we sell, uh, the more shares, the, more, the, the higher yung amount na pwede namin maibigay o maipotribute sa universal health care, which is a perfect uh, project of this uh, administration uh, upang sa ganon, hanggang kakayanin ay paglabas po, no? ng kababayan natin from the hospital ay ma-achieve po natin yung zero billing. This is yun yung pinaka-aim natin even in the establishment of Malasakit Center, yun yung aim natin. So for us to be able to deliver this, we really need more funds. And to generate more funds is for us to be able to sell the tickets. And to sell this one is pangkinikin po natin ang mga tamang laro. No? Pinatawag na namin na ito yung laro yung totoong may puso. Because the funds that we generate ay pumupunta talaga po ako sa charity. Lahat po ay pumupunta sa charity. And even nga yung operating funds namin through our corporate social responsibility, pumupunta pa rin po sa charity. So that's how we spend the money properly to make sure that yung pinaka-ultimong kababayan natin kahit na sa bundo o sa isla ay makakatanggap po ng tulong or assistance pa rin po sa business. Of course, I would like to thank the hardworking employees of ECSO. I have with me all my assistant general manager, our spokesperson, Attorney Medrano, is with me, and then uh, Doc uh, Le, uh, Cedro, uh, the head of the baby sector. Na wala na ginawa ko din mag-isip paano maghahat ng pera, magbenta ng ticket, mag-imagine kung paano ayusin ang laro. No? So, na nakasalalay sa akin niya ang aming pondo. At ito po sa tabi ko naman, Ms. Aseo, siya naman pig-ubos ng pera. So, he's, she's the head of the charity sector. No? Siya ang pig-ubos, nag-iisip kung paano niya gastusin at pamigay ang pera. And then, Ms. Atorny Patiak, siya naman yung pigbenta. Siya yung branch operation na uh, sector manager natin. Siya naman yung nagbebenta ng ticket, nag-iisip kung paano mapalaki at maparami pa yung mga loto outlet and ang mga STL will survive sa ground. No? And then AGM uh, Casas, ito tipotip, tip, ito rin yung tip, ano, uh, taga-record of how we spend all the money. This is the end of the uh, management uh, services sector. Nandun po yung aming ano, uh, ano, accounting and budget uh, of it. No? So, shunting budget. Yan. And then wala yung isa sa amin, AGM, yung pagbabuyong si admin uh, officer. So I would like to thank all uh, of our staff who really served even during the pandemic because we did not close actually. Our gaming, uh, mga palawo namin ay nagsara. Pero po yung mga empleyado, especially sa branch office, did not close. We continued in giving the, the assistance at hindi mo kami nagsara. So naging front liner din po ang PCSO during the pandemic. Yung po. And uh, we distributed all the patient transport vehicles, that's more than 100, uh, I think 156, 195 na patient transport vehicles. Sometimes they consider it ambulansya, na ang pinabigay natin last year. And hopefully we will procure 300 this year so we can distribute it by the end of the year. Hopefully, no, we will be able to deliver that. So, marami pong salamat no, for supporting our product and we look forward po that uh, a continuous may support. We opened uh, 23 areas po sa STL this year and hopefully po our LGUs to support our um, 
the STL uh, product in their area. Uh, for the information on that one, ang LDU yun po ay nakakatanggap po ng mangit lang po na share up with me because we allotted the funds sa universal health care. And then our LDUs are also receiving a percentage on the drug sale of Loto in their area. So I hope that uh, napakaliit man lang ito ay sana po magparating po sa ating kababayan at uh, if you want to increase this, you have to support the product so that we'll be able to increase also our sales. More sales, more shares po. So thank you and uh, good morning po sa ating lahat. At on behalf of the Board of Directors, my Chairman, Chairman uh, Minini, and the three other Board of Directors, maraming po po salamat for uh, raising this activity this morning. Thank you po. Okay, maraming salamat, uh, very well said, uh, GM. For, because of time constraints, no, GM has another appointment, but we will allow uh, our friends, especially from the media, to ask questions, please. Uh, limit your question to one main question and one follow-up, and also state your company and your name. And please, nila po tayo sa Hinda, but stay if you have any any questions? So, sino po ang maunang magtanong? Sige po, sir. Can you please uh, proceed in the middle? Again, uh, muli po namin pinapalalahan ng lahat. Let's uh, follow the IATF protocols. Let's maintain social distancing. Uh, your name and company muna po, sir. Uh, good morning. Inger, uh, Alan Wanda, Philippe Tarr. Okay, uh, again, uh, there is a process na kailangan sundin 
the procurement law. No? Now, if there are protests uh, raised by Genlot uh, because of the decision of the SBAP, and this is a right naman. No? Whoever feels that they are free, uh, karapatan ito, na pwede sila magpotesta, at, um, at ito po ay na-raise ng uh, napaking for sign of the uh, procuring entity within the board of the directors of the SBAP. As to whoever is at the back of that, I just read in the newspaper, it mentioned of the name Michael Yang, correct? Yeah, and uh, as to for his family, uh, I have not read anything on papers. Uh, I am hopeful, and I am sure uh, they are not involved in this. So we will just do our part, you know, and um, uh, I have not read or I was not informed on my involvement, but pero wala ko na nakikita ng involvement. Okay, pero pagkuba. Sir, pwede pong, sir, pwede pong pakitanggal po yung face shield kasi ma-fold po yung sound para sa yeah. Salamat, sir. No, I'll try po sa face May mga delinquent pa tayong STL operators na may tangon na post na gawa po ba ito? Yeah, I will ask my last question. Sa currently, wala tayong pinatawag na delinquent. Lahat na nag-ooperate ngayon are compliant sa kanina tinatawag ng monthly minimum, o guaranteed minimum monthly receipt. Under the rules, they have to remit the entire amount that they have committed for that particular month. Meron lang mga situation na na-delay but it's subject to penalty and appropriate payment is going to be charged against the charity, a cash bank. Pero yung kanina commitment for monthly, na-re-limit lahat. Sir, ilan ba yung nabuksan ngayon na STL? 23 yung in-approve ma'am ng ating board but currently 20 yung ano natin ngayon na nag-start na for July so we are still waiting for the three approved AACs. Sa Metro Manila po sir? Meron bang kaya sa Metro Manila? Metro Manila? Marami po tayo sa Metro Manila 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, mga around 5 cities, 5 to 6 cities. Okay, unfortunately, we only have time for the last two questions. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, Puma. Good morning, Puma. Good morning, Puma. Pwede na po, Bulgarian's paper. Question ko lang kasi, concern ng mga public. Since marami pong nanalo lately sa ating mga jackpot, kumusta naman daw po ang fan and finances natin? Um, sir, I'm concerned about the public because lately, there are a lot of jackpot winners. So, I'm concerned about how much the funds and finances are. Okay, it's different than the funds and finances. It's based on the income. So, the generating price money is for the secure job. It's a different agency in terms of its capacity to pay the winners both dun sa jackpot at saka yung low-care price winners. So, walang problema pag ito sa wala. 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 So maybe we can ask our friends from the media to help us promote the team. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. But uh, in support to ATM uh, said laws, uh, explanation, we are needed. As far as our price is concerned, we have a reserve fund of more than 1 billion pesos. And for the information of everyone, that for the good of 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 
buwan ng July, may nanalo sa Mindanao, meron sa Luzon, meron sa Visayas, parang lahat may nanalo except Northern Luzon. Dapat kumaya ako na marami ang bayan ko sa Gagayan, sa Isabela, no? But marami nanalo recently. And I just signed kasi na document that we are paying in price fund, we have price tax, around 90 million will go to BIR as a uh, form of taxes because potong siya nanalo. No, so, mga lima at ang naging scenario for ano, winning the jackpot price of our logo in the month of July. Okay, thank you very much. Wait, wait, we still have, we have a one billion reserve fund. Thank yes. you, ma'am. More yet. Okay. So, siguro ang susunod na mananalo ang gagaling sa mga kaibigan natin sa media. Tumaya kasi kayo. Tumataya kami, ma'am. Tamihan nyo. Good morning po, sir. Ang tanong ko po, ang tanong ko po sa provide assistance assistance po sa particularly po sa provision ng mga tablets. Yung support po sa vintage learning. Kasi meron po tayo din ako sa kaya. Meron kaming charity fund for the CHED. Ang tanong mo, Jeff Ed? Magkaiba yun, di ba? Ed, Jeff Ed? Wala. Kasi, yeah, explain mo. Explain sa'yo kung bakit meron ang CHED. Actually, lahat po ng mandatory contributions namin is in compliance to existing Republic Acts and other issuances. So kasama po doon sa mandatory contributions yung share po ng CHED na 0.1% of the gross sales of Loto. So yun po. Sorry po sir, ang CHED wala. Ang DepEd po wala sir. Wala pong, ang DepEd wala po kasi yung batas na nag-uusos po sa PCSO na mag-alat ng draw or a percentage of the charity fund that will go directly to to DepEd to support whatever yung projects po. Okay. 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 isa po na nagpulmahan. Uh, Apektado po ba yung sales ng Loto? Uh, dahil dito? Uh, actually, so far, uh, sa aming pag-aaral, pwede rin ma-apektuhan. Konti. Okay, yeah. Because the, the two products are entirely different. Mga no, makaiba. Makaiba yung market, yung system of uh,
it will be cashless, paperless, kasi we will be recognizing PTM for the next two years. Sa lahat ng business niya po, should this procurement of PLS will succeed this year. Kasi nakapuro kami extension na yun din eh. So we cannot upgrade. Because if we will upgrade it, that will alter the original contract. And then that means it's a new contract. So what we're doing now is a new extension. And we did not change anything. So we hope that the building of the Philippine lottery system will succeed this year. So that mga one and a half years to four years from now, it will be an entirely a new um, system. Ang mangyari po siya is the uh, lottery, the local QC. So, hopefully, matatapos namin yung meeting this year. Okay, unfortunately, meron pa po nga habuling meeting si GM ngayon yeah. araw. So, muli po kami nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng ating mga... Can I, can I allow my MSS to talk on taxation? Uh, for the formation of everyone now, on how much taxes are we paying sa BIR? Uh, for the year 2021, also we are data on 2020, 18 uh -oh. This year, we remitted how many billions of taxes oh, yes, for 2021? Okay, uh, the contribution of the Philippine charity six states to, as mentioned earlier, uh, nation building through uh, tax payment for have for this uh, for this year first quarter for 2021 it's uh, two billion seven hundred sixty four million two hundred forty two thousand two hundred forty four pesos and fifteen centavos compared for uh, 2020 for the entire year we contributed uh, four billion six hundred thirteen million twenty thousand four hundred ninety eight pesos and 27 centavos. The mga taxes po nito, these are the documentary stamp tax, final income tax. Yung 20% po sa mga nanano, yung mga binabayaran na rin po namin. Final income tax, meron pa kung 5% sa price fund tax po yun. Then creditable income tax, yung expanded. And we have the value added tax and other present wages. Taxes on compensation and corporate income tax. So, hindi po rin is ang PCSO and we are and faithfully nag-agay po kami sa obligation po ng PCSO on civilians and taxes and contributions and nation building. That's all and ma'am, thank you so much. So as you can see po, the whole year of 2020, kahit kung nagsara si PCS po, we closed for more than 6 months. We were, we were able to deliver 4.6 billion in form of taxes. No? Now in 2021, uh, first quarter pa lang is 2.7 billion already. So quarterly we need to pay our taxes. So kakita nyo, roughly we will end the year for not to pay more than 10 billion. We are opening our uh, our SPL. There's another taxation that should be imposed on that. So we're hoping uh, na pakalaki po ng aming uh, binibigay. Eh, kasama po kasi kakasama ba siya ang mas po ang tawag ng lagpang tax payor po. Thank you and uh, good morning. Uh, should you have any follow-up questions? Because I have to end this by meeting up for you. You can just ask our uh, public information officer, Attorney Medrano. Tumayo uh, ka, Attorney. Saan na lang po, kulitin niyo, pwede ba, sa media? O, bigyan mo number mo, para ikaw na lang. Medyo ma-unload ako. Siya po, manunin ako by follow-up. I think, please do, Attorney Medrano. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much again sa inyong pagdalo. Maraming salamat.